So not having a vision is literally ruining your life. It's keeping you at the bottom of the actualization pyramid. It's keeping you stuck. Many people wonder why they can't improve their lives. Many people wonder why they don't make progress. And as someone who was formerly and occasionally still is in this camp of people who wonder, you know, why am I stuck? Why am I not, why am I not moving forward? I've revisited this problem and today I wanna help you get unstuck. I wanna help you get closer to your dream reality. Whatever it is, whatever vision you have for yourself, I want you to be able to understand that, receive that vision and be able to go forth and make it a reality. If right now you don't have a vision or you feel like you don't have a direction in life, if you feel purposeless or lost, the real reason why, and this was the real reason I struggled with for so long was a lack of vision. Now you might say, oh, well, I have some goals, you know, I have some things that I'm working towards, but I'm talking about a vision, a big vision for your future, a, a vision that gets you so excited, that, that gets you so hyped up, that literally every day you wake up, you look at that vision and you go, wow, this is exactly what I want my life to be. So let's discuss a few ways that you can kind of go about developing this vision. Now, some of you might be in the position right now where you feel like you have an established vision, but if you do, then I'm not sure why you're watching this video. I think most of you are probably struggling with this just like I was at a certain point in time. And so let me give you sort of the way that I went about developing that vision. First thing is you need to actually understand and sort of learn more about who you are as a person, right? You need to understand who you are as a person because think about it. If you don't even know what you like to do in life, how are you supposed to figure out what you should be doing or, or what your future is going to be. For me, I spent so much time trying to figure out, oh, should I do this? Should I go to college? Should I become an entrepreneur? Should I become an athlete? What should I do? You know, what was, what is my calling in life? And you can spend literally years in this zone, years trying to figure out what you should do and, and all oh, going back and forth between the two. And the reason you do that is because you don't have enough experience yet. You don't have enough experience knowing what you like and what you don't like to make that decision. So that's number one. The first thing is take some time, whether that be a month, two months, three months, to figure out who you are, right? Go deep inside and kind of figure out who you are as a person and figure out what it is you like and what it is you don't like. That way you have a better understanding of the direction you want to head in. There is no right or wrong direction. Many people in the self-development space will tell you, you need to do this. You need to become this. This is what you have to do. But what I've realized is over years is that there is no right or wrong way. There's no right or wrong goal for your life, you know, beyond something illegal. But I assume most of you watching this video are not in the camp of trying to become a criminal. If you have a vision that in any way helps people or helps move things forward, it's going to be a lot easier for you to achieve that than if you're going and doing something completely selfish. So if you want to become a bank robber, well, you know, that's kind of a vision that you might be able to achieve, but long term, that's going to come and bite you in the ass. This is why I always try to focus in on creating a vision for myself that will serve not only me, but will also serve the rest of the planet, right? The rest of the people that I want to help, because it's not just about you at the end of the day. It's about everybody else. And if you can help more people, that will come back to you. If you can help more people, that will come back to you. And that will literally help you get whatever you want. Instead of thinking about what you want so much, think about what can I do to help as many people as possible within your vision? And that in turn will come back to me. And so if you're really struggling to figure out what your vision is, what you're going to actually do in this life, the simple thing is to figure out more about yourself. Now, after you spend some time doing this, you can't just stay on this road, right? You can't literally just stay on the road of trying to figure things out forever and ever and ever. You have to eventually make a decision. So in my example, from my story, what I did was I tried a bunch of different things. I went to college, you know, I did real estate, I've worked in the trades, I've, I've done many different types of jobs. And over that time, it was great because I learned a lot, but if I had actually set a vision for myself earlier, like you're watching this video right now, if I had set a vision for myself, I would be so much farther ahead, right? I'd be so much farther ahead from where I am right now. And the key to that was actually knowing about setting a vision. See, I didn't know you could even set a vision. And a lot of people don't understand that the reason why they're suffering, the reason why they're stuck in this sort of plateau or, or stuck at the bottom, they can't seem to make any progress, is just simply because they haven't actually made a vision, like a clear crystal vision of where you wanna go. Over the years, I've been able to refine my vision more and more and more and more and more to the point where now, you know, I'm still refining it, but it's at the point where basically I have it pretty crystal clear to the point where it's super inspiring, right? It's super inspiring. It's super motivating to see it. And it's something that I look at every single day. And so this vision is what it's going to guide you 
through life. This vision will guide you. And a lot of people will say, oh, I don't know what my purpose is, right? And this used to be something I struggled with. I don't know what my purpose is. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm not sure what my mission is. I'm not sure what I should really be doing. And the vision is what's going to give you that purpose. Really what you're lacking is a vision of where you're gonna go, a direction, right? Because when you have a direction, that is your purpose. Your direction is your purpose. And so for me, now that I have a vision, I don't have that sense of wandering around, you know, wondering, oh, I don't have a purpose. Like, what am I gonna do? You know, I don't feel like I don't have like a mission or like I really, you know, I, I have a targeted direction. I don't wonder about that anymore. I just work on my purpose every single day, which is my vision. So after you've done all that, you can really start focusing on creating the vision. And the vision itself is gonna be something that you really want to include multiple things. If you don't include all these things, you are going to eventually end up in a bad place. If you don't include what I'm about to tell you, you're going to end up in a bad place because it's not taking into account all of life. A lot of what you see on social media, and a lot of what you see in the self-development space is it can be very one-sided. It can be very one-dimensional, but life isn't like that. If you think about it, life isn't about just one thing. It's about everything intertwined in together. So with your vision, if you're just thinking about, oh, all I want is money, but you haven't taken into account anything else like your relationships, like your health or anything in that sort of realm, yeah, you might eventually hit, you know, you might eventually hit the goal of getting the money, but then you're going to be unhappy because you haven't thought about other things. So within your vision, it's important to think about three main areas. These three main areas are going to be your health, your wealth, and your relationships. Those are the kind of three eternal desires uh, that people and humans in general have, right? It's the three core desires. So right now, if you're thinking about money, well, that's great, but that's just the wealth aspect of things. That's just that that's literally all it is. It's just wealth. And it's great to have money, but if you haven't included your health in your relationships, especially those two, you're going to feel empty inside, right? This is why you see a lot of rich people, but yet they live miserable lives, right? Because they haven't thought more about their health, more about their relationships. Everything needs to be in sync for you to reach your potential. If you want to actualize your potential, if you want to actualize your dream life, everything has to be in sync. Your health, wealth, relationships, all of them have to be being improved and worked upon and, and actually moving forward. And that's what I literally work on every day, right? It's not just about, oh, I'm not just trying to get rich. Getting rich is great, okay? I'm sure it's going to be awesome when I eventually do get rich. But it's not just about that. It's about actually being able to enjoy that wealth. If I get to a point where I'm rich and yet I don't have my health, I don't have my relationships, how great of a life is that really? So think about that when you're crafting your vision. How great is it really when you've gotten to the end of the road, you've become a millionaire or whatever your desire is, and yet you still feel empty inside because your relationships suck and or perhaps you know you haven't been taking care of your health all this time, you've been neglecting it, no sleep, no exercise, haven't been working on building your body, and now you're stuck in a position where yeah, you have a lot of money, but your health has gone to shit and your relationship to shit. That's why I say think of it in a holistic way because that's how life really is. And if you just single one thing, it's not really going to work. That doesn't mean you need to focus on everything at the same time. It just means that you need to think ahead about all of these things because that's where I've seen in my life the people that I know make the most mistakes and myself make the most mistakes was when I wasn't focusing on all of those things and I was just trying to kind of narrow in on one of them so I could try to get there really fast. If you try to get there really fast, but you've forgotten about everything else, what good is that? So the three areas within your vision to recap is your health, wealth, and relationships. And within your vision, you wanna get specific about what it is you want. So for example, with money, it's great to say, oh yeah, I wanna, I wanna have a lot of money, but what do you actually want in terms of money? How much do you want? How much do you want per year? How much do you want per month? How much do you want over 10 years? Be specific about the amount of money that you want to acquire. You also need to be thinking about how am I going to actually go about making this money? Because if you're just going to say to the universe, hey, uh, you know, I want a million dollars, uh, but I have no plan, you know, no plan, um, no real ambition or desire, I just, you know, that'd be great, thanks. That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work because you aren't gonna take the action necessary to get there. So if you wanna actually act on your vision, you need to be specific about the things you want. Who is the person that you're trying to find in terms of your relationships? What relationships are you trying to improve and how are you trying to improve them? Same thing when it comes to your health. You know, what is your goal with your body? Like, are you just trying to kind of maintain? Are you trying to grow? Are you trying to, you know, lose fat? Are you trying to cure like a certain condition? You have to get really clear upon 
some of the things that you want within your vision. The more clear you get, the easier it becomes to get there because clarity gives you the ability to take action, right? Clarity gives you the ability to make a plan and take action. If I say I want a million dollars, well, that's, I mean, I, there's a million different ways I could make a million dollars. If I say I'm going to make a million dollars via uh, my personal brand, okay, that's a little bit better because it's a little more specific. It's much easier for me to make a plan and actually start moving towards that because I've put a vehicle attached to it, right? You want to have a vehicle actually attached to the desire that you want. Make sure you get specific about those three key areas within your vision and make it crystal clear so that the universe and reality can help you get there via not this isn't magic this isn't just you know we sit here and, and think about you know everything we want and we're going to get it via your thoughts and your emotions causing you to take the actions necessary this is not i don't i'm not all into like oh let's create a vision so that it'll just magically come to us no no no, no. don't get this wrong this is going to be this is going to be work right this is not just some cure-all fix where you're just going to suddenly get everything you desire just by creating a vision. A vision is going to give you the inspiration, motivation, and the clarity on how to create a plan to get there. But you still are going to have to do the work, right? I'm never going to sit here and lie to you and say, oh, you can just, you know, manifest anything you want into reality and uh, your thoughts will literally just bring it to you. That's not how it works, right? I don't believe in that. My personal belief is that your thoughts and com combined with your emotions, right? Your thoughts combined with your emotions cause you to take the action to get what you want. But it's never just going to be your thoughts just magnetically attract things to you without you having to do any actual, you know, work or, or, or take real action. That's just ridiculous, you know? That's not something that is practical. And it, perhaps it does work for like certain people, but for the majority of people, like you watching this video, you're much better off trying to actualize your reality by understanding you're still gonna have to do a lot of work but that it's going to be much easier and and almost to the point of being effortless if you are aligned with your thoughts and your emotions right and you actually have a real plan so far it's been working for me right i've started on my journey of really self-development and trying to uh move forward just within these past couple years and i've made some decent progress right i'm not going to say you know, I'm, oh, I'm like completely changed guys. I'm like a millionaire and everything, but like so much of my life has improved in terms of my body, my mindset, you know, my relationships that I would never go back to the old days where I was just basically sitting there with no vision, uh, depressed, you know, not motivated, not taking any action. I would never go back to that place because it's a place of death. If you stay in that place, you will die and it will be a slow, painful death of monotony and continuing to be average. So don't do that. Make sure that you're actually taking action. And this is why I always am talking about having a vision because a vision is what will give you the clarity to move forward. So now that we have sort of the clarity established in terms of what you're going to be doing and, and sort of the specific, specific dream outcomes that you have, now it's time to actually think about, you know, how you can reverse engineer that to make it happen. Because having a vision is great. And like I said, believing in all these things in terms of your thoughts actually having power is yes, it's true and it is great, but you need actual plan in place to move forward and to actually take daily actions on because daily actions is what's going to bring you to that place. One other thing I want to say about your vision, just to backtrack before I forget, is don't let anyone or don't let society influence you too much. And when I say that, What I mean when I say don't let society influence you too much, and it's hard for me to actually say this because I know that this is literally happening to me as I'm telling you I am being influenced by society. Your environment will influence you, but be conscious of the fact that it is influencing you and be conscious of the fact that as you create your vision and you get specific on what you want, it could be, it could very well be that a lot of what you want is actually not what you want. It could be that a lot of what you want within your vision is not really what you want. And that you're actually just projecting that out there because you are dealing with a sort of a loss or a void inside. Doing something is better than doing nothing. If the things that you want within your vision are because of that, it's better to take action and move towards that than, than nothing at all. You know, but I'm just saying, be careful of that and understand that if you get to 
that aspect or you get to that point where you've completed your vision and you still feel empty inside wondering why do I, it could very well be that a lot of what you put in your vision wasn't actually what would make you happy it was for other people right it was either your parents telling you this is the way that you need to go this is what you need to be doing or it was society or your school telling you hey you know you need to get these grades and you need to do this you know for university or you know you need to get this job because this will make you happy if you haven't decided that for yourself and you're just doing it because of the expectation of other people and the expectation that society puts on you I don't think that you're really going to be happy in the position that you're in. More importantly, I don't think you're going to be fulfilled, right? Because happiness is something that comes and goes, right? It's a feeling that we have, but fulfillment is something that remains and is steady. So you probably won't be fulfilled with your vision if it's just based off of everybody else. I know some of the things that I wanted in the past were heavily influenced by society. I'll give you an example. One of the things being, I've always been really interested in travel, right? I've loved going to other cult cultures and, and over this past year, I've gone to Thailand, which I've documented some of that. And it was a great experience, but I've always wanted to become like a digital nomad, right? That was sort of the thing that was really driving me was, oh, I wanna become a digital nomad. And really, as I started to ask myself, why do I wanna become a digital nomad, right? Why is it that I'm being so heavily influenced in this direction? I realized simply because of society, it's simply because of what I'm seeing on social media. When I actually went to live the lifestyle of a quote unquote digital nomad and I tested it out, Bro, it was pretty shit. I'm not gonna lie. Like, you cannot really build while traveling. Like, it's very difficult if you are have a personality like mine or or you're just, you know, someone like me. It's very difficult to actually build uh, something substantial. It's very difficult to build something substantial while you're constantly traveling. And for me, I need to be staying in like a solid place for a certain amount of time I, to, in order to build something. Like I can't be super productive while I'm constantly moving because your routines are changing. Where's the gym? Oh, I don't know where to go to the gym. Oh, I'm not going to the gym. So that affects my mental performance, right? Oh, my sleep, like it's a new environment. Uh, the climate is different. The people are different. The food is different. Everything is different. And so that's one example of the vision that I had of being a digital nomad. Now, I still am going to travel. I love traveling. I love going to places, but I realize that when I do that, it's not the season of building. When I'm traveling, it's just to basically have fun, right? It's not going to be me trying to live this lifestyle where I'm going all over the world with my laptop and trying to build a great business. No, no, no. If I go somewhere or I move somewhere, it's going to be like a permanent move to like another country or something. And I'll just stay there and, and work and build. Or like, even if you have a six months to a year in one place, that's great. But like a month and then another month and then three months and then trying to move all around. So that's an example of how I was influenced, literally influenced by social media to go and chase something that wasn't really who I was. That's not really me, that's not really my style. And so I was literally influenced by what I saw and by the sort of what society said was cool and on all those expectations to go do something that wasn't even really me. So that's why I'm saying when you're creating your vision, be aware, it might not actually be you telling you to do those things. Th those literally could be thoughts that got into your mind, into your subconscious, that, uh, making you take action on something that you don't even really want or something that's not even really you. So that's a warning. I'm not saying be afraid. I'm just saying that is a warning and something to be conscious of when you're walking around in society and you're looking and, and, and seeing all these different things because we're constantly being hit with marketing. We're constantly being hit, right? Even you watching this video right now, it's constant. It's You're constantly being hit by content, by marketing, by songs, by music, and it all everything that you hear and listen to gets into your mind, right? Everything gets into your mind and that affects your actions in your life. So never take anything for granted in terms of the things that you see, you listen to, you hear. It all has an effect on you whether you think it does or not. All right, so let's jump back into where we were earlier before we went off on that tangent. And I was saying how you need to have a plan, right? You need to reverse engineer your vision because right now you're stuck, right? You're down in the dumps. You don't know really what's wrong. It's just you don't have a sense of direction. You have no purpose. The vision is how you're going to get out of that. But how do you get to that vision? How do you cross that gap? Because you're here right now. The vision is way over here. How do you cross that gap? Especially if you've decided that you're going to create a vision that's actually inspiring to you and is, and is much bigger than who you are right now. If you've decided to create a vision that is literally far beyond yourself of where you are right now, whether that be, you know, uh, with your body, with your relationships, or, you know, with whatever you're trying to achieve, right? Your money. If you've decided to take a big jump, that is a big bridge to cross. So you can't take that lightly because if you do, you're going to fail. 
get disappointed and then quit. That's exactly what happens, right? You end up quitting. It's too hard. So you got to reverse engineer the success. You got to reverse engineer the sort of process. Now, this gets very detailed and it's hard to say because every single person's vision is going to be a little bit different of the uh, dream life that they want to have, right? It's going to be a little bit different. What I can say work for me in certain aspects of my life so far is taking the it's taking the sort of simplest action that you can to move forward daily on a daily basis. So for example, let's say, you know, you, you want to build your dream body and you want to lose fat, you want to get lean and you want to get like all shredded up. If you right now you're overweight, okay, what would be like one thing that you could do to start progressing in that direction? For me, the answer was simple. It was go to the gym. If you don't have a gym, maybe you could start, you know, going to the park and trying to do pull-ups and, and push-ups and stuff there. Maybe you could start uh, walking, you know, two times the amount of steps you have been. Maybe you can start reducing the amount of food. Uh, you know, maybe you can start going on runs or whatever, or maybe you can do all of the above. But if you can just choose one thing to move you forward towards that uh, towards that direction, right? Towards that vision, you are already on the path to getting towards that vision, right? It's not really about taking these giant steps and having these amazing things and transformations happen instantly, right? It's not an overnight success. People are always, I've, I heard this in a, it was either a book or a podcast or something once. People are always looking for events, right? They're always looking for these big events. And I used to do this constantly. I would always be looking, where's that big event? Where's that uh, that business I can start that's going to make me a million dollars? Where's the, and it's, you're chasing this quick dopamine. You're chasing this quick sort of event that's going to happen. But the reality is this, the reality is it happens. Th there is no event until you have the process. So you have to have a process that you go through that'll lead you to that event. That event is literally years worth of processes. Depending, well, it could be less depending if, depending, you know, on you and how fast that you're going to progress. But it's it's at least days and weeks and months of process of doing basically the same shit every day to all of a sudden end up in this sort of uh, event, right? This all overnight success. That's why you see a lot of people, oh, he was he was an overnight success. No you were just witnessing the event. You didn't witness the whole backstory of the 10 years of failures that he had, right? You didn't witness the backstory of the five years he had to spend in the gym to build that physique, of sweat, blood, and tears put into those workouts. So think about what can you do today to literally take one step forward towards your vision? What can you do today? Reverse engineer that success. Now remember, we decided we are going to take a holistic vision. We weren't just going to, you know, focus on just fitness or we weren't just going to focus on just relationships. And so there's different times of, there's different seasons in terms of what you're going to be focusing on, but you want to identify what are some of the core actions of each thing. So identify what are some of the core actions for your, your health, right? Okay. Go to the gym. What are some of the core actions for your relationships? Uh, I don't know, uh, maybe once a week, you know, get together uh, with your family or once a week, you know, I'm going to take my girlfriend out on a date night. Okay. Then identify, I don't know, maybe, or if you don't have a girlfriend yet or a significant other, then maybe, you know, think about maybe, you know, try to go on a date once per week. You know, maybe try to go out and go to some social events once per week. So it puts you in contact with, uh, you know, meeting more people. If you're looking for a wealth, right? You want to increase your wealth. Maybe think about, you know, what is something that I can do to start either exploring a business or exploring, you know, creating the, the sort of future in terms of the profession that I want to have. Those are all things that you can do. Once you identify those, it's important that yes, we want this entire vision, but until we start making progress, you don't want to try to do everything at once. This is where everybody fucks up, including myself. Okay. I'm trying to give you the wisdom here that I did not have years ago. You need to focus in on one thing at a time, maximum two. Okay. You can focus on two areas at a time, but if you do more than two, it's going to be too much for you to make any progress. And you have to understand the faster your brain sees progress, the faster your mind recognizes progress, the, the faster it starts to move towards the goal you want. So if your goal is to make a million dollars, if you focus in on just that for at least a while for a season and you start making a hundred dollars a month thousand dollars a month, your brain sees that progress and it's going to start moving faster and faster and faster and finding more ways to make more money. 
It's the same with all the other areas as well. But if you're focusing on, okay, I need to make $100 a month, $2,000 a month. Oh, wait, I need to go do this social event. Oh, I need to go on this day. Oh, you know, I need, uh, I need to go in the gym five times a week and I need, need to make sure I'm getting the right amount of protein. If you're trying to do all that at once, your progress, you will make progress, but it's going to be so slow that your brain is literally going to get fed up and it's going to be like, oh, well, this is not worth it. We're doing so much work. We're not seeing any results. So instead, what you can do is you can channel all of that focus into one of those lanes. Keep the other two lanes, keep the other two lanes on maintenance, or like I said, you know, you can do two of those, maybe focus a little bit on your fitness, a little bit here, but choose one primary one, right? Choose one primary one and make the other one sort of like a like a side quest, right? Make it like a side quest and then keep the third in terms of your health, wealth, or relationships, keep that on maintenance mode because you can't improve everywhere at the same time. It just doesn't work. This is what everybody gets wrong about self-improvement and trying to get better. They all try to do everything at the same time. It doesn't work well. Trust me, I've tried it. It just does not work. The more you can focus in on that thing that you really need, on that constraint you have within your life right now, the faster you're gonna move forward. And when you break through that plateau, all of a sudden everything's gonna change for you and you'll be able to lift up everything else within your life. So I wanna recap everything that we talked about right now so that you can actually take action on this and you're not gonna be sitting here watching another video on YouTube doing nothing with your life, okay? So the first thing is you need a vision. Why do you need a vision? If you are feeling lost right now, if you are sort of down and, and, and you're sort of stuck, the reason why you're still there is because you don't have a vision big enough to inspire you to take action. That is the problem. So you need to create a vision. Now, you can create a vision on a piece of paper, you can create it on uh, online somewhere like Canva because it's kind of nice, it's like a digital, you can view it from anywhere, but you need to create a vision for yourself. You can use actual pictures, texts, words, whatever, whatever inspires you. Make sure you focus on a holistic vision, which means your health, your wealth relationships. You're not just focusing in on one lane. This is what so many people get wrong because if you just achieve that one lane, that's great, but guess what? You haven't made any progress in any other area of life. And so you're going to feel empty, right? You're gonna feel like you're lacking something. You have to be holistic and well-rounded in order to live a fulfilled life. And I truly believe that. Once you've decided on what that crystal clear vision is and in each area you've made specific, specific goals as to what you want, then you need to reverse engineer that success. Think about making small goals, right? Think about making progress in one domain. Think about putting the other modes more on a maintenance and really pushing hard on one area so that you can see success and it keeps you inspired, right? And don't be afraid to make a vision that is much bigger than you are right now. The bigger it is, the more imposing it will be, yes, but the more inspiring it'll be when you start feeling down, when you start feeling like giving up. Because if I had a vision that was too small and too easy, I'd just be like, ah, whatever, it's not a big deal. But if I have a giant vision that is, that is huge, that is just mind blowing, that if I achieve that, it would, it would literally change everything in my life and the people around me, that'll keep you going. So that's what I have to say in terms of making a vision. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below if you've created your vision. Let me know what some of your dreams are. Let me know what some of your obstacles are that you're facing right now. And I'll see you in the next video.